Excellent. Hello everyone, my name is Kunal Kapoor and the topic for today's knowledge is Deep Directly Elastic Search. The agenda would be to understand what is Elastic Search, getting started, key terminologies, CRUD operations, understanding the physical layout, what happens when you index a document, how to make an inverted index mutable, how per segment search works, how a delete operation works and segment merging. So, what is elastic search? It is a search engine which, which is based on, on Lucene. It allows you to explore your data at speed. It provides near real-time search. The response time of elastic search in, is in milliseconds. It is distributed. Several servers can be started at different locations and the data stored in them would be distributed. Fault tolerant. As the uh, nodes are distributed across the network, so uh, any uh, if any node fails, then uh, the other node can uh, perform your uh, query and give you the results. The notable user of Elasticsearch is uh, our uh, Facebook, GitHub, European Center for uh, Nuclear Research, and LinkedIn. Getting started. Uh, you can uh, download Elasticsearch from this link to start a server, uh, execute bin slash Elasticsearch, and once your uh, server is up, you can uh, check the health of your server through this command. The key terminologies would be a node. A node is a single server or an instance of an Elasticsearch that stores your data and participates in index and search capabilities. A cluster is a collection of one or more nodes that together hold your uh, data and provides uh, search capabilities across, your, across all nodes. An index is a collection of documents that have somewhat similar characteristics. Uh, an index is like a, a database in My, MySQL. Uh, type is a logical category or partition of your index. It, uh, it is defined for uh, the documents having similar uh, fields. Uh, a type is like a table in uh, MySQL. A shard is basically an Lucene index. It, uh, it contains the documents and the various data structures that help in searching. Uh, so, just a data application happens across clusters or happens across nodes? It happens across nodes. Across nodes. Uh, these are the CRUD operations. Uh, let's have a demo. So uh, this is a curl request to uh, insert one document into uh, a node. The first parameter is uh, the index, the second parameter is the type and the third is the uh, document ID. Uh, now I want to insert this text into uh, the type text. So this uh, response uh, tells me that uh, the index was test, the type was test, the ID was 1 and created true. I can search for this document using this uh, query. I am searching on uh, all the uh, all the types of the index, and uh, the query is uh, to search for a text with hello. Now, can I? Now this give, uh, gives me. Now this gives me uh, the source as text hello world, which I inserted. What does the score mean? Uh, the score is the uh, relevance of how well your uh, document matches your search. It can vary between 0 and 1. And why is it uh, 0 to uh, Because I was searching for hello and not hello world. So it is a partial match. Now I can update a document uh, using the uh, using this command. I am saying that uh, for document ID one, update text to hello, and not uh, instead of hello world. 
Now this gives me a, a version as two. What Elasticsearch does is uh, it takes this uh, doc, uh, this, this document and uh, marks the uh, previous uh, document as uh, deleted and inserts a new document with this value. So, uh, therefore, the version is true for the ID one. And to delete a document, the uh, command is x delete and the document id so now if i try to search this document it will give me it's as null then <coughs> Now understanding the physical layout, a cluster uh, is formed when two or more nodes have the same cluster name. Now ES is configured to use multicast out of the box. Uh, in multicast it sends a UDP across the network. Uh, all the nodes that are uh, having the same cluster name respond back uh, that uh, uh, they respond back and thus creating a cluster. Uh, so, this is not uh, recommended for production use because if uh, on your production it sends a UDP, then uh, unwanted nodes may also join your cluster. So, uh, the recommended way is to use a unicast which, uh, in which you can specify the IP address and the port number of the nodes. So, only those nodes would, would be, uh, join the cluster and everyone else would be excluded. Now, inside a node, uh, by default behavior is multi or By default it is multi You have to set it in universe. Now uh, a node can have multiple shards uh, and, and Elasticsearch index will span across multiple nodes through shards. So if this is, an, uh, this is an index, it consists of this and this shard which are on two different nodes. They may be on uh, two different locations, geographical locations. The nodes. So these are uh, these both are shards. Uh, a shard is essentially a Lucene index at the bottom. Now a Lucene index or shard contains various segments. Uh, these segments contain data structures which are used for searching and storing. A segment has an inverted index and stored fields. Uh, stored fields are uh, the raw values that we insert into Elasticsearch and inverted index is a data structure which stores the mapping from your word or numbers to its contained in the database or a, uh, or a uh, document. Uh, it is the key data structure for searching. It provides full text searches and it is immutable. Uh, what happens when you index a document? When uh, a cluster receives a uh, index, uh, index request, then uh, one of the shard becomes the coordinate, uh, the controller for that request. It is the job of that uh, node to route the request to the appropriate shard. Now the, door, uh, the node uh, de uh, determines the shard in which the document should re reside based on the on the basis of document IDs. This is the hash function which is uh, which it uses to uh, calculate the shard number. Now uh, the uh, value of this would always be between zero and the total number of sh uh, primary shards. Primary, uh, there are two types of shards in uh, Elasticsearch. One are primary and uh, another are replicas. Replicas are uh, just a copy of your primaries uh, to for uh, that fault protection, fault tolerance. Now the request is then forwarded to the appropriate node which contains the shard. The node then forwards the request to the appropriate shard in which the, uh, that document should reside. The shard performs analysis on the document and creates an appropriate inverted index which, which would be helpful for searching. The request is then uh, sent to all the replicas for uh, for index. Uh, the documents are by default analyzed by the standard analyzer 
it splits the document on white spaces and lower cases the documents. Then the documents are inserted into the inverted index. So, Dupal, number second, yes, they sent to the replica side. Right? This is push based or full based? Like, replica is running on a different node. These are push based. The node which receives the request uh, also knows uh, that where my replicas are kept. So, it will uh, send the request to uh, those nodes also. Now, uh, this curl is for analyze API. You can uh, set the analyzer and the text on which you want to uh, on uh, which you want to analyze. So, I have set the analyzer to standard, and my text is Elasticsearch is an awesome uh, search engine, and Elasticsearch is not a database. So, the output is it tokenizes. The uh, my documents on the basis of white spaces and lower cases. The uh, so the output is elastic is an awesome search. So you have seen the output for these. The document is simply shared. So this is a so uh, this is the inverted index that would be created. Uh, inverted index has uh, all the unique uh, words or uh, the tokens on which your text was analyzed and the documents in which they reside. So the question rises, if an inverted index is immutable, how do we insert new uh, data into Elasticsearch? So earlier the whole inverted index would be rewritten to the disk with the changes. This was a very, very costly approach as FSync is uh, very uh, uh, demands high resources. So Lucene introduced the concept of per segment search. Uh, now a Lucene index or a shard would uh, mean a collection of segments plus a commit point. A commit point is a file that contains a list of segments that are ready for search. When you say earlier, was it an earlier version of Elasticsearch or? No, in earlier times. In earlier times. Uh, so, uh, how per segment search works? The new uh, documents are collected in an in memory buffer. Every so often, the bu buffer is committed, which we call a refresh. A new supplementary segment uh, with a new commit point is written to the file system cache. At this point, your uh, changes are not written on disk, so uh, they are uh, not uh, a fault can happen and you can lose all of those documents. But for th uh, that, uh, Elasticsearch uses a transaction log, which is uh, updated as soon as any shard uh, encounters a request. So, a full commit is later performed so that your changes would be written to the disk. The buffer is uh, then cleared and the segment is made available for search. Now this is a small illustration. Oh, just about that. Whenever we are saying in memory, that means you are saying that uh, uh, memory location in heap, right? Or other memory location. I guess it's heap. It, uh, heap uh, for elastic search that is allocated to elastic search. Uh, now, when you encounter, suppose four, you encounter four documents, now the uh, in-memory buffer would be cleared every second. So every second a new segment is created. Now these four would be cleared and a new segment is written. The commit point, uh, the, uh, this segment is uh, referred to in the commit point and the transaction log is updated with uh, the four documents, the request for four documents. Now suppose uh, the transaction log is not yet full and thus the full commit would not happen. Now suppose another document uh, comes and it, it is uh, put in the transaction log. Now the transaction log is full. Uh, uh, in this case, 
the transaction log and the in-memory buffer would be cleared and a new segment would be written to the disk and the earlier segment which was not uh, which was in the file system cache would also be written on disk at that point so only if uh, when the transaction log is full then only a commit happens okay. either the transaction log gets full or uh, it defaults to every 30 minutes 30 minutes okay. So, uh, how a delete operation works? Every shard in Elasticsearch node maintains a .del file. Now, uh, the use of this file is to contain those documents which are being deleted. When a delete request is encountered, the appropriate document is marked as deleted. Now, when you search for uh, that document, the uh, document will, uh, will be filtered out at the node uh, level, not at the shard level. The, the shard will return that document, but the node will uh, see that it, it has been deleted. It, is, it will check the .del file and uh, then it will filter out that from the uh, search response. Who is responsible for these tasks? Who is doing these tasks? Uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, the shard. The shard will filter out uh, the documents. Uh, uh, while returning that uh, response, the shard contains the .del file. Okay. So uh, when you search for that document, it will the the document will still match your query, but uh, when the shard is returning the response, it will check uh, in the .del file that it has been deleted, and so I'll filter out that from the response. So the history of how many documents are maintained in this .del file? Of so all the let's say I, I delete thousand records, so all thousands would thousand records would be maintained in this dot file. Uh, no, uh, once a segment merge happens, the dot del file is cleared. What's so a segment? A segment merge. The the document is then purged from the file system uh, while a segment merging. While segment merging. Now a segment merging. The main question is, if every second a new segment is uh, being created in Elasticsearch, then how is it uh, so fast? Because every uh, segment will consume a uh, file handle, memory and CPU cycles. So the, the more number of segments Elasticsearch has to traverse, the, the slower your search will be. So uh, Elasticsearch solves this problem by, segment, uh, by merging the segments in the background. Uh, small segments are merged into bigger segments and at this point the uh, .del file is, uh, is also cleared. The documents are cleared from the uh, file system and uh, from the .del file. Uh, this is the moment when those old documents are purged from the file system. The uh, segment merging process happens in this way. The, uh, the merge process will select a few uh, segments of similar size and merge them together uh, to make a new, uh, new bigger segment. The new segment is flushed to disk. Uh, a commit point is then written, a new commit point, and the old uh, commit point will be deleted. The new segment is then open for search. And the old segments are deleted, the smaller segments. Questions? Okay, thank you. So, how does the merging of uh, smaller segments into bigger segments make the uh, process faster? Uh, so, the uh,